On today's General Hospital, Anna greets Jason in her office, asking if he'd like to help her clean up the mess she's had in Port Charles lately. She tells him a bit about the explosion and the diamonds and wonders how long he's been involved in Holly's plan. I don't know what you're talking about. But before he can go, Anna tells him they're not finished by a long shot. She thought they were friends, and when he says they are, she asks for honesty. They both acknowledge that there are things they won't tell each other, and Anna laments them having a friendship with secrets. Your loyalty to Sonny will always come above everything and everyone else. But she'd still like his help in finding Valentin. You'll have it. He tells her he'd be sorry if their friendship ended, then leaves. Drew shows up at Willow's door, and she tells him Michael's upstairs. But he knows Michael's not because he watched him leave. He hands her her earring from their tryst, in Scout's room, and she thanks him. Drew says he's sorry about her lying. He flirtily tells her he sees her blush every time she does it. Willow says she's grateful, but wants him to keep his distance now. You're blushing, he whispers. Willow then tells him he didn't come to give her earring back. And he has a tell to. He doesn't blink. She's right, Drew says. He wanted to make sure she's oak. That's great, she says. But he needs to stay away. All she wants is to stop lying to Michael, but she can't. Drew assures her Michael won't find out about them sleeping together. And he hates that it's hurting her and that he lost his friend. She apologizes and asks him how he's doing and how Scout is. It's not easy. But she was there for him when he had nowhere else to turn. On the side of the road, Natalia's on the phone calling for help, stunned to see that Christina is the other person in the crash. They sit on some boulders next to the accident and take stock. Christina apologizes and Natalia tells her not to worry. Insurance can fix it. Natalia heard about Sam. And Christina starts to open up. Michael is over at Sonny's talking about Sam and Dante. But the real thing on his mind is his marriage. He thought their relationship would always be good and easy, but he's worried he's wrong now. That they aren't a team anymore and can't be honest with each other anymore. Either of them. Sonny tells him that they can get through problems. But as Michael is about to tell him more, his phone rings. It's Natalia and says she needs him. Christina's in trouble. Christina talks about how she lost her sister and her baby. And while she was in the cemetery, she suddenly realized how she'll never see them again. Ever. She thanks Natalia for being great, but just asks her not to tell her mom. She's got too much going on. Natalia agrees, but says she called her dad already. As a mom, Alexis will never not worry about you. Christina asks how Ali is doing, but Natalia says she hasn't called back yet. But she sees her out there living her dream. Christina reassures her that her daughter will never stop loving her, hurt or not. She then talks about how Sam was the strong one. But Natalia insists that's not true. Christina is too. Sonny shows up and he and a relieved Christina hugs him. Felicia finds Sasha in a hospital room and asks her what happened. Sasha tells her about the kidnapping, explosion, and her mother. Felicia tells her she's known Holly for a long time and seen all the damage she's caused. But she's like family, and Robert is family, so Sasha is too. We're all Scorpios, and Scorpios all show up for each other. Felicia asks for more info on what happened. It's a long story. Felicia insists that Holly's capable of great love and tells her that when Sasha's mom lost Robert, it changed her. Maybe she gave Sasha to her grandmother because she was a reminder of all that she lost. Felicia knows Holly loves her very much, and as fair as her anger and fear are, holding on is keeping that from a relationship with her mom. If she doesn't let go, she'll look back some day and regret. Felicia knows she'll always regret not being able to make amends to Georgie. A short time later, Sasha tries calling her mom at the Metro Court, only to learn she checked out. Holly pops into Brennan's office to get what I'm odd. She owes a massive amount of money to a syndicate while freelancing for the WSB. If she doesn't pay, she'll be killed, and the WSB will be responsible. She needed the diamonds, and now she just wants the WSB to pay her debt. She owes them for saving her daughter, 
but hopes that next they need someone with her talents. She's still alive.